It's another episode of Meet the Agenda. This time we've got Dave Dennis. Everybody clap for Dave Dennis. How you doing, Dave? Very well, thank you. You got a drink in hand. You're ready. You're set there. It looks fantastic, dude. Thank you, thank you. Well, you know, I've got big shoes to fill with Ariel, and uh, I know I can't be as hot as her, so <laughs> I had to do a little bit of set dressing here, you know, at least spice things up a little bit. So. Uh, it's, it's looking very spicy. Before we begin with the questions, I'm curious, how did you, what's your origin story in terms of listening to our podcast? Yeah, sure. Uh, so I think it was around 2014-ish, maybe 15. Uh, I saw Joe at Stables uh, with, with Justin. Justin was headlining. Joe was working the show. Nice. Um, and that was Stables in Westminster. And he mentioned the Robin Joe Show podcast. And I started listening then and listened ever since. Well, you know what? Let's make that our first question. Who was finer that night at Stables, Justin or Joe? <laughs> so I was a big fan of Joe's crowd work, quite honestly. It was, <laughs> it was really funny, but Justin killed. I mean, you know, but I, I really enjoyed both both the show, you know, both of them on the show. Um, it was awesome. Well, a good, good answer. Um, I'm going to start with a similar question we had with with Ariel, because you, like her, are a parent. Uh, who would you trust the most and the least to watch your children for an entire weekend. Yeah. So I'm, I'm right there with Ariel. The week is a long time for that. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to say Joe, Joe's, Joe, the yeah, most, I think, I think Joe he's, he's experienced, you know, mm -hmm. I think, you know, if he's got Katie there with him, that sort of adds a whole nother level of fair kind of security. Yeah. So I, I think it's Joe, no offense to you, sir. Am I the least? Am I? I'm guessing because it, it's a fair, it's a fair answer. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I I don't know. I think Justin could get into some shenanigans. I don't I don't know. <laughs> he's he's known for shenanigans. Yeah. Here, here's a question for you. Uh, which one of us, if if we all came to you separately, we needed a loan, not like five hundred bucks, like ten grand, a real amount of money. Okay. Who would you be most likely? You're probably not going to do it at all, but who would you be the most likely to and the least likely to loan that money to? Yeah, that's a tough one. I, mm. I'm going to say that you would be the most likely to yes. to receive the loan. All right, you, you've got some irons in the fire with you know some of your uh, your your comedic friends. Uh, yeah, some, some things out there. I think I think you could do some good with that money. I think it's you, sir. Thank you. And who would be the Justin or Joe? Who there's no chance you're loaning the money to? <laughs> I would say no chance, but probably Justin. Yeah. I think Justin would be the least responsible with it. <laughs> Justin just taking it on the chin so far. I like it. <laughs> All right. You have to drive cross country with one of us. And, and we're staying in the same hotel room, too. We're, we're there this whole trip, however long it takes. Okay. Two beds, one room, one car, the whole trip. Who are you riding with? It's Justin. There you go. Not stop. He's going to stop taking strays here. Justin, there you go. I just think that would be a super entertaining ride. I think we have a lot in common with kind of our nerd proclivities. That's um, fair. Justin. All right. You and the missus have an anniversary coming up, let's say. Uh, one of us has to pick the date, and you have to do exactly what we say this date is. We're making the reservation. We're planning the whole thing. Who are you putting in charge? Oh, Joe is is – noted not very romantic so i think he's, he's <laughs> a, out a noted non-romantic uh, um, yes yeah, I, I think it's gonna be you i think you i think you got some sneaky romance up your sleeve to i like it throw a good date together sneaky romance now we have this event coming up we've been at your house before the beautiful man cave coming up january 20th the brotherly love show which is event which is now also turning into the, the the uh, proper goodbye to our, our dear friend, Jeremy Woodworth. If I were to say to you, one of us did something that upset your wife to the point where we were never invited back, who would you say, I bet it was blank? Amongst well, I mean, the three of us. Be, it would have to be Eric, right? I mean, well, yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> yes. Eric's first and foremost. But yeah, out of, out of the three of you, it's probably Justin. I'm sorry, man. I, I hate to keep throwing so much trays at Justin, but. Well, you know, Joe he's, tends to just, you know, say things, part. you know, be rude, but without even realizing it, he doesn't tend to shut up. That's lot. true. But, yeah. I didn't, I was thinking more of like, like damage per se than like, yes, a, Justin will know, get angry at a video just, game. Yeah. A foot, in the, a foot in the mouth situation. Yeah. But yeah, that's definitely more Joe. That's, that's fair. All right. Uh, you have to live your life 
one year as one of us. You know, it's the classic movie trope where you we switch bodies and lives. Who's whose body and life are you living for a year? It's yours, Rob. Yeah. Heck yeah. Yeah, you're on the road. I think you're living the dream, man. You're 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 untethered. You're untethered. Getting, you're getting uh full pics all the time. From yeah, the- yeah. I, yeah, I'm doing well here. This is good. It's you, my friend. Yeah. All right. Uh, I think I asked this with Ariel too. Uh, one of us uh, takes over as your job, as your boss. Who would you uh, most like to work for? The three of us, and least like to work for. So I think that's going to be Joe. Uh, most corporate experience. You know, yes. I think he is a boss. He could. He could probably run the show a little bit. I. You know. That's fair. A little bit better organized in, in terms of a workplace. Hmm um yeah probably joe i think probably justin would be the least <laughs> that i would want to work for i don't know yeah i, don't, I actually i think he'd be kind of a fun boss actually yeah so he would be you. i'm gonna say you yeah no you're you're probably right i would probably let everything slide so much for like it would just be chaos and then you would end up having to take over a little lion share of the <laughs> of the scolding people and making sure shit got done. Yeah, you're right. Without getting paid more, you didn't end up doing my job. Um, all right. This is a good one. Uh, you have to, you need to spice things up in the bedroom with the, with the old lady. And each of us is going to give you our sex move. Now, without knowing what that is, if you just had to say without knowing blind, being blind, which, which of the sex moves, are you going to incorporate with the lady, the Rob Mayer move, the Justin move or the Joe move? No, I'm going the Justin move. I've, I've, yes. I've heard, I've heard recently the, you know, the only fans totals that are, that are running through. I think, right. I think he's got some good ideas lurking there. So <laughs> yeah, so it, he's got some there. ideas lurking. I don't know if they're yeah. good, but uh, all right. Who would be the least likely you, you taking my move or Joe's move? I, I think you would be second. I'm taking Joe's last. Yeah. Joe's move is that, yeah, I think it's, you you tell her to get on top, and then you yell, you go boring in the middle yeah. of it. That's that's right. A fun... I mean, I even think he said last night on on the broadcast yeah. that um you know he's just happy to be there. So <laughs> like, just I... well, I think that's true for all of us. That's fair. That's all true. right. Um, let me see. Uh, I think I like this one. We did it with Ariel too. Um, who would you most trust and least trust to help you cover up a murder? Oh man. You know, we already saw Justin, you know, he couldn't keep the secret with Frank. You know, I don't know. Is he going to run his mouth? You know, I, I hate to be lobbying for answers here. So yeah, I won't lead the true. witness. I, I do. I think you would be the most tight lipped. I think yes. I think you'd be the most trustworthy there. Um, I think Joe would probably tell a stranger on vacation. <laughs> and, and, and Justin, yeah, I think would probably like say it on 98 Rock. Yes, which I tend to think there's more listeners than Joe on vacation. All right, this is good. All right, final question. Um, if in this in this scenario joe justin and myself are all single and available men if your wife were to leave you for one of us which one of us would you be most disappointed that she left you for (laughs) and then which one would you be the least disappointed i would be most disappointed if she left me for joe even though he has a you know, a proven track record of pulling younger, hotter women. Yes. Um, I'd still be pretty disappointed by that. Why um, is that? Just because he's older than me. And, yes. You know, I, you know, I wouldn't think that, that, that I, that I could compete. I, I do think, you know, that, that, right. that, you know, would just be different. No, I agree. You think you, you best him in every way. I get that. I'll put words in your mouth. Yes. <laughs> no, I don't think that at all. <laughs> and then the person you would be like, you know what? I'm okay. I, I get it. I'm 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 sad. I'm upset, but um, it's not the end of the world. Yeah, Justin that or would, myself. That would that would be Justin. Um, I I could see it. He's he. I think she would have fun with him. Yeah, similar thing. The kids. Not that she couldn't have fun with you, but I, yeah, I think there's some. Again. The only fan stuff. I think he's he's got some tricks up his sleeve. Okay. Now, do you have a a sister or a sister in law or some uh, a woman close to you in your family that's of a, around the similar age? I I do have two sister in laws. Yes. Okay. Three. Um, if we're all single, who are you fixing them up with? Uh they're all married. Let's say they're single in this scenario. Sure. Um, mm-hmm. I'm fixing up you first. Yes. With with my sister-in-laws. I think you would just make the most sense as a partner right now. Okay. If we'll get you out on this one, um, 
your wife says, you know what? I I want to I want a threesome. I want it for our anniversary, my birthday, Valentine's Day, and I want it to be with a guy. And it's got to be yeah. Rob, Joe, or Justin. Who are you taking into that bedroom with you, Dave? It's it's Justin. There you go. Justin, Justin is the... It's a wild time. <laughs> it is a wild time. <laughs> All right, good stuff. Dave Dennis, you're the man. We'll see you January 20th. Uh, I'm sure the man caves will look fabulous. I mean, your studio looks fabulous. You're the best. Cheers, buddy. Thank you. Thanks, Rob.